So this is kind of a special edition whiteboard Wednesday. It's actually Tuesday. Uh, we just saw the uh, unveiling of VMForce, mm -hmm. which is a new uh, platform as a service offering for, uh, between VMware and Salesforce. Mm -hmm. And I thought it'd be kind of cool if uh, maybe we talked a little bit about what what is VMForce, what kind of role does it play in this kind of landscape of cloud technology. And maybe we could even do a little bit of diagramming, show the audience kind of where VMForce falls in that landscape. Okay. So, so why don't we start off, uh, just broad view, what is VMForce? So VMForce, plain and simple, is platform as a service. So developers want uh, a way to put their apps up in the cloud. The easiest way to do that is find a platform to do it. And VMForce is providing just that. So if we look at our, our normal kind of stack diagram, uh -huh. You've got infrastructure as a service, right? Right. And then you've got your platform as a service. Sorry. One more A. There it is. I'll do it. <laughs> and then uh, you may have seen from previous Whiteboard Wednesdays our software as a service. So this is kind of the general s cloud stack, I would call it. Yeah. Um, so what VMForce does is takes this layer here and gives and gives you a place to run your software. So the the cool part about VMForce is you are able to upload your code directly to this platform via the Spring Source framework. Right. So you're you can do it very sim very simply, very quickly. Um, so the idea is that, that this part is fully managed, and it's elastic, and it's on demand. So you yep. can get it when you want, you can scale it as much or as little as you want, and it's fully managed. So in a perfect world, you don't have to worry about this stuff. That's right. So, so it sounds like a, a sweet deal for the uh, Java developers, right? So, so this is just for, for Java, is that correct? That's correct. So okay. the VMForce uh, platform is Java-specific. Okay. Um, I think... Um, the, the Spring Source also works with Python, but they're specific about Java and using Java classes. So I can certainly be a direction that they go in the future with VMForce. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, so that, I mean, that sounds all well and good, but, but you know, I think there's always two sides of every coin. Can we talk a little bit about maybe what some of the cons might be of using VMForce, you, you know, if you're developing with Java? Right. So they've, I would say the first thing is they've, they've kind of touted this as a, as a um, being open, so Java is very open. It's very it's widely used. Um, the bad part is is this is very much closed. So you're on the Salesforce.com platform, which can be good, but it can also be bad. So if you write software for this for this platform uh, and tie into the Salesforce.com databases, you're stuck on those Salesforce.com databases. So all that data is living at salesforce.com. Uh, what happens if you have to migrate that and you want to switch infrastructures? Yeah, I'm unsure. So I'm, okay. I don't know how to migrate data off of salesforce.com databases. Maybe so that, someone watching this will comment and yeah, if you, have, if, have some ideas. If you have a solution for that, by all means, comment, uh, comment in the comment area there. Okay. Um, the, so kind of, kind of along the same lines, if, if we were running our Java application uh, on an infrastructure as a service, type um, setup, we could, so let's say this is a vCloud Express provider. Okay. So vCloud Express, so a vCloud Express provider is providing the infrastructure as a service. Right. You would manage the software as a service and the platform as a service, and you can take and pick this up and move it to any infrastructure as a service provider. Right. Okay. That makes that makes a lot of sense. So, so they're kind of claiming open. Uh, it may not be as open as it could be, but at the same time, they are managing that platform and infrastructure. So that's one less thing to worry about. Right. If you want to focus on code and you don't want to have to worry about anything else, and you're comfortable being on that Salesforce.com platform, VMForce is the place for you. And, and it. Since you're building it on VM Force, I assume it integrates uh, pretty well with Salesforce if you're already developing on yes. Force.com, right? 
right? Right. Yeah. So if you're if you've got other apps running inside Force.com, okay. they they integrate almost seamlessly. So you can write code that that does everything that you need to integrate in with that. Um, nice. The other nice thing about about this is you know this is world renowned VMware infrastructure. Right. So VMware is actually running this infrastructure um, uh, out of the out of the Force.com. Infrastructure, so cool. it's it's pretty cool stuff. And, and so the spring source too, which is also a VMware entity, right, is, right. is what's powering this rapid deployment of the Java code into the cloud. Right. So if you haven't seen the demo, you can go check it out. But uh, they they demonstrate how taking taking you have your code, you add in a server basically, and then you can just upload the code to the server and click go, and it'll run. Okay. Okay. Great. What is there anything else you think we should cover in this just kind of brief overview of, of what we saw from VM Force and uh, what you know any questions you think that they might have? If if you do have questions, we can certainly do follow up videos. Yeah, a lot of people might be asking, what is this really competing with? Okay, so it's yeah. not really competing with uh, I would say the infrastructure as a service providers because a lot of people want to have uh, control over their platforms. Sure. Uh, and they might have specific compliance needs that they need to meet that they can't meet with the Salesforce.com model okay. or the VMForce.com model. Um, but you know, the platform as a service. What, what would be some of those companies? Maybe like an Azure or something like that. Yeah, Microsoft Azure. If you're a .NET uh, fanboy, you know, <laughs> or Azure, C -sharp, Azure yeah. yeah, C Sharp. You know, any yeah. of the .NETs. Okay. Azure is the place for you. Uh, Java. Google App Engine is going to be a, a major competitor of, of VM Force. So sure. Okay. I'm interested to see how that turns out. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. All right. Cool. Well, that's a, just a quick overview of uh, VM Force, and we'll still be doing our normal whiteboard Wednesday tomorrow. But we just got done watching that unveiling and wanted to get this out and get some reactions and see if you had any questions. And maybe we can, uh, if you're responsive enough, we could get some of those questions answered in tomorrow's whiteboard Wednesday. Absolutely. All right. Great. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See ya.